so you live out in the city and you've had too much of the fluorescent lights and, and the cubicles and, and you've uh, just everything is just you feel the walls closing in on you so how can you get into nature when you are in the concrete jungle we talk about here <laughs> Good morning, hello, and uh, welcome to a, another episode of the Relaxed Mail. Um, our weekly vlog, I might actually end up trying trying to push this to a daily, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that yet. It is a beautiful morning. We're overcast today, but it's, uh, it's a wonderful time. And I uh, want to just take, as I'm being invaded by our four o'clocks, the... Uh, the the thought of getting out into the, uh, even if you are in the city, you can actually get out into nature. Uh, a lot of the city planners, how no matter how you look at it, they they had nature in mind. They realized that, especially these days, they realize that nature is a good thing. There's small there are certain advantages i mean not besides for you know plants producing oxygen for us there's also the uh the fact that getting in touch with the earth and and being able to experience the uh the fresh air and all that is you know they've got i've been i almost say it to a head and ad nauseum level it's good for you. There's things, there's advantages to it that being stuck in a cubicle inside of an office, inside of all that fluorescent lighting, um, is not the best for for the old bean. And so it's actually good to step outside and enjoy a fresh breath of air. And I try to get out here and park my tail out on the front porch and watch the cars go by for, for a little while as I enjoy just a couple a cup of just regular Folgers coffee. Um, there are several things you can do when you're in the city that gets you out and closer to nature. Cities all have, have walking paths these days, especially when they are dealing with green belts. Now, depending on the level of the city, some people have green or some cities have green belts that you really are just they're just open areas and so you might be able to go walking out there to those times most places though they have a green belt or a green spot or it's you know almost like uh central park it's uh, just this giant area of nature stuck in the middle of manhattan and downtown uh, in new york city there's several different uh, ways that you can enjoy that you can go and you can walk up and down uh, the walking paths or if you'd like to if you like to go a little faster you can a lot of places even allow you to ride a bike so if you ride or you walk or you jog go run up and down a uh, a good a path i mean it's level it's smooth pretty much smooth now there's also places in the city that have hiking trails and so it's more of a beaten path and it may not be all that perfectly smooth and it's not concreted and it allows you to be able to just go out and uh, be in, in touch with nature just a little bit more another thing you can do is uh, there are hunting clubs and uh, shooting clubs so if you want to do shooting sports where you go when you shoot clay pigeons so you can tell if even if one pellet hits because it'll break that uh, break that frisbee and it falls in pieces and so people are able to tell if it was a hit or not. Also archery. If you are wanting to be like, um, what was it, uh, the weatherman <laughs> with Nicolas Cage where he walks up and down, you know, the city streets with this uh, big giant recurve bow on, on his shoulder. You could actually do the same thing. There are archery clubs all over the U.S. Um, there are Archery USA, Team USA, um, several different places that you can you can look and see if there's a club, archery club near you. Um, if you don't know what you're looking for and what type of bow you want, 
these are questions that uh, you want to have. Um, and these are things that people who are more experienced than you would be able to help you with. Uh, you have questions, they have answers. So you can actually uh, go to these different um, different clubs and ask questions and they are just so enthusiastic about helping you that they'll answer any question you have you're needing to know. So uh, shooting sports club, uh, rifle club, target practice club, uh, gun range, archery range, archery club, things like that. Um, now if you are in the mindset of it's not about you, you want to help somebody, you can do that too. There are ways that you can actually go out and you can help a person be able to, uh, you can go out and help a person or actually more specifically a child experience nature, especially the inner city, city children. They really, they are, they have such a, <laughs> a unique look on on life because their life has not been the easiest uh a lot of times uh the inner city kids uh who are experiencing these types of i'm not going to call it charities but organizations that help kids experience nature organizations that teach kids to fish there's organizations that get kids out into the national parks and state parks and experience those with hiking and camping and things like that and there's like uh, campfire boys and campfire girls and things like that uh, even the boy scouts uh, and uh, girl scouts though they uh, have a little bit more finan demanding financial uh, regiment so but there are ways that you can help a kid find that love for the outdoors and that's something somewhere down the line I plan on helping also um, as I'm trying to get this uh, business up and going. So enjoy the day anytime you get a chance and you're so when you're out out with the uh, outdoors and you want to might want to help out the kids uh, why not look? Um, and see uh, while you're out and about um, or you're feeling a little uh, a little stressed or however you want to look at it um, definitely go and uh, go outside usually you have a touch of nature you just getting outside into the fresh air is does t uh, and get out into the sun does you wonders for uh, for your mental state um, so so Definitely look at that and see what, uh, and and see what you can come up with uh, as as a means to being able to to uh, help yourself settle, get uh, get centered, um, and uh, and see what and see how you can improve your state of being that way. So take instead of taking a, a smoking break. Just go outside and spend 15 minutes out in the in the fresh air. Get a fresh air break. So, um, so there. Just uh, I appreciate you uh, stop by, read, listening, reading. Uh, stop by and uh, and listen and watch. And uh, if you have any comments, shoot them down below. We're uh, I, I'd love to get to get a comment or two. Also like the. Uh, the subscription uh, subscribe button down there if you haven't done so already uh, we always need some more subscribers like to see if we can grow the uh, community up some so anyhow appreciate uh, everything you've done and we will catch you uh, catch you here a bit later bye